Hello, I'm going to try and make an unboxing video. Um, on Friday, I ordered uh, four atomic pies, and uh, it is Monday. I think it's Monday. Yeah, it is Monday, and they are here, um, all the way in South Africa, which is uh, not bad. Apparently, it is being stored at Whole Foods, which is interesting. I'm going to quickly open up the, the box they came in. Have a look at. Uh, What's inside? Okay. Well, these are a bit larger than what I expected. I think I uh, imagine them similar to raspberry pies. And uh, let's take one out. Huh, comes in a nice little box. And then inside the box is some bubble wrap. That's always good. <laughs> yeah, especially as it's uh, traveling across hemispheres and continents. Uh, we also find a uh, congratulations. Here's your atomic pie uh, note. A cool photo of the. Uh, I imagine that's the team that uh, is responsible for this project. Tips: Power polarity is critical. Reversing polarity can be can fatally damage the board. Be sure the power is connected to the correct pins. Feed power to the API via one of these methods. And uh, there are four methods covered there. Um, I'm planning on supplying five volts to this thing um, using a computer power supply. Oh, wow, gee, oh, that, that is huge. Okay, <laughs> that is absolutely massive. What can I compare this to? Um, so here I have a relay shield which you might or might not be familiar with, uh, but relays are not uncommon. And uh, <laughs> here is the, uh, the atomic pie. That is massive. Gee, and the heat sink on that. Wow. Um, yeah, so um, it's uh, not too heavy. Um, see a few things going on on the back here. Um, be interesting to find out what these are all for. Probably should have prepared before starting recording. Um, on top here we see a battery, I believe. Um, so that's a, that's a battery probably to um, ensure that the bias doesn't lose its state. Um, we have a little button here. It says um, RTC reset. Um, it's also an SD card reader um, in the corner there. It's probably more visible that way. And then um, on this side we have a USB 3 port, a gigabit ethernet, and then uh, a variety of pins. I think that pamphlet I'm, I've got here is probably going to explain a bit more about that. Um, this model has 16 gigabytes of onboard eMMC. Uh, eMMC is apparently much better at not breaking, uh, which is great because raspberries have a reputation for destroying SD cards. Um, not exactly sure why. Maybe it has something to do with um, um, continuous writes over and over again uh, when they're running operating systems like Linux. Yeah. So um, first impressions. This is fantastic. Um, I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad I uh, went with this. Uh, something that's interesting about it is it runs an Intel Atom processor uh, running around 1.9 gigahertz. It's a quad core. There's two gigs of RAM running at 1600 megahertz, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's have a look at the um, let's have a look at the little page it came with. Keep the 2032 battery attached to preserve BIOS. Okay, you know that pin one on the 26 pin connector is nearest the SD card slot at the edge of the board. Plus five enters on pins three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. Pins to dot 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 are ground and at least, um, oh, use at least two pins. Okay, so that makes sense. So you have to provide five volts in there somewhere. Confirm plus five volts is regulated, don't exceed 5.2 volts. So that's important. Um, that's the second time they've warned us about the powering this thing. Um, <laughs> I'm going to take that seriously. Attach an HDMI connector and USB keyboard. The debug serial ports can also be used. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, power up. Um, press 
Control Alt F2 to open a window. Uh, Control Alt F2 to open a window. It sounds like something's either installed or that's the bias. Um, login user, Atomic Pi, and the password shown on the screen. Okay, so there's probably something on here. Tiny SMB components are fragile, handle with care. Um, GPI opens are rated 3.3 volts max, so don't apply 5 volts to them. To use Wi Fi and Bluetooth, you may need an external antenna. Check out AliExpress or Amazon. There's plenty of options, 